Sierra here. So today I wanted to share with you guys 10 habits that you should have if you want a cleaner home and that's more organized. I feel like everyone has a bad habit. We can throw clothes or don't put the dishes away. A lot of these habits I actually do and some I've recently learned and I'm starting to try to do them. Um, so I thought I would share with you the 10 habits that would definitely make your house more cleaner. So the first habit, something that you should do right in the morning, the first thing that you should do is make your bed in the morning. Um, I know when I was working, I was always rushing. I didn't make my bed. But now for the past two years, I do make my bed every day. I think you just need to tell yourself it only takes a minute or only takes a couple seconds. You don't need to make it perfect. You don't even need to have fancy pillows. Just make your bed. And then if you ever have unexpected guests, you will not be embarrassed that your <laughs> bed is not made. The second habit that you should have is putting your clothes away. So if you have dirty clothes, don't throw them on the floor. I think sometimes a lot of people do that. Throw it in the laundry basket. And if you have clean laundry and clean laundry clothes, don't just throw it on your bed. That looks really messy. Put it away, fold it, put all the clothes in your closet and it will just make your house so much more cleaner if you have that habit every day of doing that. And then, like I said, if you have unexpected guests, you will not be embarrassed that your bedroom is messy, there's no clothes on the floor, and your bed is made. The third habit is actually similar to clothes, is putting your shoes and coats away. Right now, here in Canada, it's winter, we have very, we have snowy boots, we got big winter coats, so instead of just letting the boots sit right in the entranceway where people can trip or throw in your coats on the floor or on the couch. Hang it up right away when you go into the house and put the boots away. Now the fourth habit is getting rid of junk or clutter. If you just find you have some kind of clutter piling around, like for example here, I like to put things in the windowsill, which is a bad habit. So putting it away, and um, if you have too much of something, like if you realize you're not using something in the kitchen for two years or more or even six months, maybe it's time to donate it or get rid of it. Just go through your bathroom, especially. Um, I find we sometimes gather too much lotion or too much shampoo. It just looks so much more nicer when you only have one shampoo per person um, and just your bathroom's not cluttered. So look through your drawers. If you have too much of cleaning products even, get rid of it. The fifth habit is putting things where they belong, putting things away. I find like I have a habit in the kitchen if I'm using any kind of appliances or something, a smoothie maker or slow cooker, sometimes I have it in my kitchen for a week. And even if in the, in the bathroom, for example, put away your brush, put away your hairspray, you know, don't make your counters nice and clean. It just looks so much more better when you put everything away and nothing's on the kitchen counter or there's no junk on the bathroom counter. The sixth habit is washing dishes every day, put it in the dishwasher, turn it on the dishwasher every night, and just doing that at the end of the day even. Or while as you go, if you ate lunch, put some plates in the dishwasher, and at the end of the day you can turn it on, and then when you wake up in the morning, you can put all the clean dishes away. And that just helps so much instead of waking up in the morning and you just have a load of dishes in the sink and they're crusty and dirty. The seventh habit is dusting and vacuuming regularly. As a mom, I have to vacuum a lot more than typical. Like this week, I've actually vacuumed three times already and it's not even over yet. So if you have kids and make a big mess, you probably need to vacuum a lot more. But just having a specific day of the week to clean more even. So for example, with me, Mondays work out the best for me. So on Mondays, I do more of the heavy cleaning. And then just throughout the week, just if you see something spilled in the service, wipe it down. The next habit that you should have is doing a load of laundry every day. If that's not possible, doing a load of laundry every other day. That just keeps the laundry basket not overflowing and it's just a good habit to have so you always have clean clothes. The ninth habit that you should have is changing the garbage every day. Throwing the recycling bin out like I have, doing that every day because garbage stinks and nobody wants to smell that, so it's good to change that every single day. The last habit I think everyone should have is cleaning up in the end of the day, just picking things up and maybe putting a timer for 15 minutes or even five minutes if that's the only thing you have and picking up things as fast as you can. So it could be the playroom where your child is playing, putting away the toys, maybe you need to sweep up all the crumbs from dinner or putting the dishes away, just using 15 minutes in the end of the day just to clean up whatever you see mess. And then when you wake up in the morning, your house is clean and you don't have to worry about cleaning it. Throw this in the garbage. 
Throw it in the garbage. Of course, I think it is always good to encourage your kids to help you clean as well. Even if they're so little, like I don't expect a two-year-old to be sweeping, but just little things like asking my son to throw something in the garbage and he gets really excited over that. I think teaching kids to be clean and a very early age is really good. So then they have good habits and then your house will be cleaner when they grow up. Good job, yay! I think everyone is just so much more happier when the house is more clean. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it encourages you to, to have better habits on having a cleaner home and more organized. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!